Hello everyone, uh, I am Abdul, the Senior Analyst at Analytics Insight. Prisma AI is a global pioneer in providing visual artificial intelligence based solutions, specializing in predictive information technologies, more specifically visual based artificial intelligence applications for, for body behavioral analysis, sentiment analysis along with OCR, image, video, face and object recognition. So today we have with us uh, Dr. Sriram Ayer, who is the group chairman and CEO of Trisma AI. Sir, we are delighted to have you on our platform of Analytics Insight. It's a pleasure that I'm talking to you today. Sir, uh, could you kindly brief us about uh, Prisma AI, its focus on artificial intelligence and services it offers, sir? So Prisma AI product, predominantly is one of the few companies globally which have their own platform for computer vision, which is... Uh, and it's a computer vision, it, it, it takes care of everything. So it's just imagining as a uh, you know, layman, I could say that whatever your eyes see, so you have five senses in your body, hearing, seeing, smelling, tasting, and touching, uh, that takes care of, computer vision takes care of eye. That's it seeing. So whatever you see, uh, you have a cognitive brain which decides on this is a bottle, this is a wallet, this is a phone, that's a remote. And that's done by your brains. So some, so you have cameras globally, you more than 8 billion cameras globally, which has been installed in various parameters and structures for various reasons. So just imagine those cameras now start thinking and take decisions for you or even guide you for taking decisions. That's exactly what we do. So uh, it could be in an aviation industry in airports, it could be in highways for highway protection, it could be security surveillance as it comes to uh, Security is on trade to up on infrastructure, roads, or any place part, right? Where a camera being used. Uh, it could be even for inventory management. It could be for logistics. So it could be for uh, the most uh, transaction application on bank and finance. Or it could be for understanding languages pertaining to what you're writing in terms of for your graphology. So these are a couple of parameters which uh, a camera can visualize now using pure artificial intelligence, a CVB intelligence. And that's a little about what Prisma. If you want to know the inception of Prisma, is Prisma was a German car in 1981. I was a small kid when it was formed. And uh, there were four IBMs who, IBM also started the company in. And I acquired, I was a part of Putney Computers, uh, the Senior Vice President of International Operations, and Prisma GmbH was our customer where we created a small product using uh, Extended Development Center in Putney's. Uh, when Putney was bought over uh, by uh, IGATS in the uh, US, uh, that's where I went back to Falgar, the owner of the company, that time the CEO of the company. We acquired the company stock and barrel in 2013. And that has been the first inception of image recognition being a part of our company. And so and so forth, it's been a decade we talk about right now. It's gone to right from image recognition to face recognition to object recognition to NPR or so about or it could be I'm getting into gesture postures and those kind of center activities which you get in right now pertaining to understanding how does computer visual behavior works on. But that's the thought process which we came in. Yes, sir. I completely agree with you, sir. Like sir, uh could you uh tell us about how Prisma AI is contributing to the artificial intelligence industry right now because AI is booming in their in the world right now, everyone is talking about AI and how the company is benefiting its clients through AI completely. Sure. So, uh, we have several case studies, uh, uh, to honestly uh, speak to you. Uh, we started right from ANPR, which is the simplest of application where the number plate was recognized and they could, there's a decision science telling whose car this belongs to or the vehicle belongs to. Uh, to the latest coming right now, wherein you can understand uh, behavioral patterns, sentiments, and motion patterns uh, based on cameras. So, um, uh, the number of plate recognition for infrastructure, highways, uh, um, facial recognition for um, uh, uh, in terms of uh, in the immigrations for your passport control, for your um, boardings or face based travel around. Authentication systems in the BFSI segment for facial authentication systems. Uh, it could be say uh, the earliest and the big best example was in airports in Adani was used right now. Where uh, a goodness gesture is like a human behavior right now. So you're talking about AI taking to a next level where they, they become now human beings. Like it could now tell you if somebody isn't entering the airport and they have fallen down or they have crutches or they have wheelchair or they need assistance. 
the camera is now intelligent enough to understand that this gentleman is in crutches. This kind of gentleman is in, in, in with a uh, stick. He he is uh, fallen down or he needs assistance. The camera takes a decision based on it and sends it to the customer relations, saying that these are the people required there, and you need to support them immediately on a real time basis or an emergency. That is taken by and it goes to the the escalating metal oil to the emergency services or to the 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 executives who go and support them or distribute that. So it's making not only infrastructure based application supporting human beings or uh, people around, but also now creating a gesture of uh, goodness wherein it takes care of uh, behavioral aspects or aspects pertaining to emotion sentiments whether they really need support. If somebody's crying and they really need support, the camera will now at once and tell you they did something wrong. So that's 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 where AI is going and that's where we come from. That's a very good point sir, that you discussed on how Adani is now incorporating uh, AI technology in their airports and how it is transforming our daily lives. Sir, could you brief us about your proactive role and your contribution towards the company in the last few years and, and the Azure industry veteran, and we all, as we all know, and the industry, could you... Uh, would you let us know about your proactive role and the contributions towards the company and the industry, sir? So what have we done is, uh, uh, as we said, uh, initially the first phase of the, the recognition pertaining was image recognition probably a uh, decade and a half before or two decades before. But getting into a, a cognitive node, where I mean cognitive node is understanding uh, your behavioral aspects or, or getting the, the, the systems, or the computers to understand um, objects, images, faces, uh, emotions, sentiments, those are the aspects grow ahead. So just imagine a, a normal ANPR, which is an object, which is just a, a number plate recognition, getting into an ending eye patterns of a human being, or is he smiling, crying, is a complete change of paradigm and platform. So when we started probably two days ago, it was a pure image recognition platform. Uh, right now we talk about uh, multiple applications like image recognition, you have face recognition, you have object recognition, you have uh, sentiment recognition, you have a decision science supporting all this around, including tracking, emotion, sentiments, body posture, gesture, somebody's falling down, all this tracked by cameras by itself. So those are the, the those are the uh, phase wise uh, development happened in terms of a platform, and that's what we have done in the last uh, a decade and a half. Oh, that's very nice, sir. Sir, uh, what makes the uh, Prisma AI innovative and what are the key partnerships and involvements uh, in the future that you would be looking to drive the innovation uh, in the industry, sir? So, uh, probably we have patents for what we've done in terms of uh, <clears throat> our cognitive thought process of the platform, but the innovations are so it's an AI application. So, innovation, innovation is inevitable that goes on increasing. So, uh, every enhancement of the product is innovation by itself because it is learning, it starts learning by itself. So when you say, I have learned the understanding what is a mobile phone or a bottle, but there are millions of bottles and millions of different kinds of aspects in a phone or a bag or basis, and to train them to understand how they behave, to understand what it is, how the object is, there will be different data sets data that goes into it. And every time, it happens, that's the nuances in the product. And that's how, so this is a next to probably eight to seven, 10 years is going to be a timeline where you will see multiple folds of data sets being drawn into the platform and then evaluating the core engineering more and more is what is going to give you more predictive analysis and more cognitive thought process on uh, predictive science. Uh, yes, sir. I completely agree with you, sir. So uh, what do you think or how are the disruptive technologies like AI, Big data automation impacting today's innovations. How has the role of a leader changed over the years as we are seeing a lot of these technologies transforming various sectors around the world, sir? So when you say disruptive, what, what does it mean? A disruptive, sir, like AI is completely disrupting it. Like big data has come into uh, uh, the picture. Many companies are automating their services. Uh, the ed tech companies in India, uh, there are many AI companies, SaaS companies coming out. So what do you think about this today's innovation? How is it impacting uh, our, our lives, so basically? So I, I would say that it's impacted in a very positive way, right? Just imagine uh, uh, it, it is giving you uh, a nuances into the way of looking at life. So just imagine I'll give you a couple of things. For example, you're in a kitchen right now. 
and the, the kitchen is now performing an aspect of a human standing there and observing people doing the right thing, wherein an object recognition along with gesture and posture will let you know whether they are doing the right kind of standard operating process. And there is a, is a lacuna, there is an impediment in what they are doing. That is being detected in real time and sent to the escalation level so that the, the quality and the productivity of the person and the entire floor which is being performing the task is being taken care with no extra intervention it's done by a machine and it's done there and day on day and the productivity increase many folds and the person who is who has been assigned to just look at them is done by and is easy for to be monitored around and these are all cognitive unsupervised learning wherein they learn by itself on every nuances and the person who is being given the task, he would do better things than what he's been asked to do. So it is not disrupting the life in terms of disrupting. That's a negative word, I would say. It is enhancing the capability of every aspect of your life, whether it could be from every industry, right? From aviation, infrastructure, security, or uh, BFSI, or many segments to talk about. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, uh, as we are seeing that uh, the artificial intelligence and the current scenario around the artificial intel intelligence industry and its future. Could you share your viewpoint over it, sir? Like many people are uh, very uh, confused over AI, how AI will be impacting the jobs of many people. Uh, the coders are a little confused. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I, I think probably I answered that question in my earlier answer. Wherein it is not going to impact in terms of getting in. Actually, let you know pertaining to give you more, more and more aspects wherein your productivity increases based on the AI. Uh, simulation where you help take AI's help to uh, get it more productive and get right kind of human resource to use right kind of additive activity and train them for better skills than what they are doing right now. So it's not going to affect your human resource in terms of employment, but actually it will train them for aspects to be done in better so that they get more skilled and they can do more things to do rather than doing what rudimentary a uh, machine can do. That's a better aspect. So, for example, as I told you, a camera can look into now, see whether a person has fallen down or he needs crutches. Instead of a guy standing there and seeing whether it's done, a camera is doing it. Or if there is an adulteration in a food in a kitchen, instead of a man seeing that, the camera can see and the, the guy who's doing it can do better things around. So, a quality management with productivity is what AI will help you getting in done along with more skills to be developed on aspects they are into. Uh, yes, sir. I completely agree with you, sir. Sir, uh, could you highlight or kindly mention some major challenges that the company has faced that in now or, or in the past it might have faced a few challenges? Could you highlight on that part? Uh, sure. So, uh, uh, I mean, I wouldn't say challenges. I would say those are uh, impediments that came because of lack of understanding of awareness of AI. But uh, yes, so I remember the first... Uh, when we bought over the German company in 2013-14, I don't want to mention, mention a couple of names, but I, I I got to know from the media industry, from the press media industry, they were saying that, can I stand next to an ATM and I can get my head to spin number? So that was the most the stupidest thing. Somebody would ask me a question that, can I detect my PIN number of my card when I stand next to the PIN of, of the ATM center? That will never happen. So those are questions which you are probably not knowing what AI could do. So it is not, it is limitless to a factor that what is going to be given as data to them. So the challenge is people to understand what AI is. I, I know people are aware, are getting aware and aware as we talk, but still it, it is the nuances is that is the most important aspect people to get literate on. So people don't know about interactive technologies so people know about Windows, people don't know about what Gmail and emails are. So probably 25 years ago, 30 years ago, somebody what is an email, they wouldn't know they had written letters or telegrams, but probably now you can talk about emails. And if you don't know emails, you know, don't know social social media. So social media is a factor, is is a in thing right now, but probably ten years ago you didn't know about news, you didn't know about it. That's exactly the scenario what this challenge is right now. So AI is in that phase what social media was probably fifteen years ago and thirty years ago what email was. So that that's the dramatic change or a scenario change happening in, in the world of IT. Yes, sir. I completely agree that uh, AI will in future transform our daily lives. Sir, how do you see the industry ahead and outlook of the businesses uh, changing? What, will, what do you see the industry going ahead with? 
its future plans and how do you see the outlook of the industry and the businesses around the world so people are getting into automation i think so uh, i would say many of the major companies or companies are probably the top 50s of of hopes 500 companies are got into automation based on ai uh, right from delivery of logistics where in amazon it could be uh, both like um, uh, the Ford Motors or Tesla's or XY who have already made their entire automation based on AI wherein right from your support system of supply chain towards logistics or it could be even uh, management towards client relationships and of course financial sectors though have been already been uh, into a, a leverage of using 70% of AI so as we talk about AI is an industry is ever growing and it next uh, probably a decade or so has a lot of uh, Uh, nuances that will come in then a lot of new features of aspects of ai coming in you will see ai being used at various aspects i mean uh, uh, as per i and my understanding we have more than 250 apis in our computer core algorithms of uh, uh, prisma uh, which we we'll talks about right from any of the computer vision aspects we should talk about but i uh, we'll be seeing more and more coming every day so uh, uh, i would say we, we started with image recognition we got into uh, inventory management with the uh, automobile companies understanding products or uh, the parts of the engine uh, we got into um, uh, efsi wherein we could do authentication aspect around and now we got into uh, aspects wherein we could do kitchen so you see you see the varied industry getting involved into and we have probably a plethora of case studies which you talk about and industry itself down so as we talk there will be many of these industry will be using those and every industry will have its own case studies coming in and there would be new and new data sets and new ones coming into those sort of uh, arenas and sectors and verticals that you talk about yes sir i completely agree with you that there will be more case studies coming in the future from different industries and different arenas of correct. work correct uh it was a pleasure talking to you sir uh, it was my uh, uh, big opportunity that i got today to have a conversation with you and learn more about ai and to discover more possibilities of ai in in today's day and age uh thank you so thank you for joining in for the session i hope you have a great day ahead and uh, thank you for uh giving us your time and we would connect in the future uh thank you sir